What's up guys, Drag Boss Tim Halstead. So listen, I'm gonna show you how to measure the, the cylinder bore with a dial bore gauge. Now to do that, you need a micrometer. This is a four to five, the bore is 4015. So the first thing you do is make sure that the micrometer is accurate. So I, I put it in a vise with some padding, I don't tighten it too much, just so I don't have to hold on to it. And what you wanna measure is a standard. This is a four inch standard, I wanna make sure this mic measures four inches. Lots of things that contribute to this, which is the temperature can even contribute. The location of this standard can also affect it. So you want it as square as you can. You tighten it up with this handle here or this screw and it should be at zero. So let's see. And sure enough, it's at zero. I'll see if I can show you a little bit better. I'm gonna lock that in and then I don't know if you're going to be able to hold it right up there where you can see. But you can see the zero, and that's what we're going to go with, that that's accurate. Now that should pull right out of there, which it does. I locked it in. Now that we know that this is 4 inch, I took the standard out. Now we're going to go ahead and put this at 4015, the diameter of the bore that it's supposed to be. Put the 15 there, lock it in put in the vise, just snug it. Now we're gonna zero this bore gauge because we want that to be read zero. And it takes some manual dexterity to get it perfect. And that reads zero. Let's go now to the engine. Now making this real, it's, it's gonna be hard. You don't need to see me. So we put it in there, we want it the same spot we had it before when you're measuring stuff, and right now it's perfect. And what do I see? Right there, the needle's going back and forth. So it's one thousandths over. So it's a 4016, what I see here. The main thing is to keep it accurate and right in, yep, right there. That's at the 1000 mark. See how it goes back and forth and swings, lowest point right there. So this is a 4016 bore. Okay guys, there you go. Now I only did it in one area and you wanna do it in three areas, top, middle, and bottom to go down to make sure there's no taper in there that someone held the hone in the wrong spot too long. Also, you can turn this 90 degrees and check to make sure that it's cylindrical, that the, it's a square bore all the way down through. Remember, you're always seeing and learning something new at Drag Boss Garage. And with that, I hold it true for you. Stay tuned on my engine build series and see what you can learn. What's up guys, Drag Boss Tim Halstead.